Cool, so uh, I've gotten a couple emails lately about the butterfly kit, uh, why I talk about it. Uh, we have a lot of members here who do an awesome job doing the gymnastics kit. It's time for them to progress on to the butterfly kit. A lot of times people come in here and they're like, you know, I want to learn the butterfly. Well, it's a long progression. It's a really challenging movement to learn. And the best thing I would say is just keep practicing, practicing, practicing. With that said, let's show you how to practice this movement, okay? What the hell is the butterfly kit and why does it work so well? It's useful for workouts where you have to do something fast for a short duration of time. Let's just say like 20 pull-ups, I'm definitely going to butterfly. I'm doing 100, a little different. You might not have as much power out of them as you do as a gymnastics skin, but they're much, much quicker on the turnaround. Uh, this is Gary simply going to demonstrate just what the butterfly looks like. Or the, I like to call it the around the world too. Show us how it's done, sir. There you go. There you go. Now notice, get a little bit higher, there you go. Notice, guys, and relax for a second. Notice, his chin never actually physically went over the bar. It simply went as high as. So what we're looking for is to keep that continued motion, right? If my chin goes over, then I have to bounce back off, and I don't keep that continuous rotation, okay? So, some things you can look at, right? The easiest way I like to tell people to learn this movement is instead of thinking about the butter, the regular kit, which is like forward, backward, you throw your legs up and you pop your hip. What we're thinking about here is, I'm thinking all about the swoop. I'm thinking swoop, swoop, swoop. In my head, right, when I'm doing the butterfly, I'm thinking swoop. And what I mean by that, what the hell does a swoop mean? What a swoop means is I'm taking my leg, I'm swooping it down, popping that hip to generate momentum to pull me up. But this right here, this leg swing, is actually what's driving me up. So, to first and foremost, I'm gonna work with someone, I'm gonna teach them the flamingo, or the backward bicycle, or the whatever the hell you wanna call it. And all it's gonna be is it's gonna be up against the wall here, and it's gonna go back, kick your ass, pop, 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 pop. Notice, I'm looking for the turn speed. Bam, bam, bam. Once they get that down, they start doing the other leg, right? I'm going up, I'm kicking my ass like a flamingo, like a, you know when they stand on one leg? Yeah, stupid example, but it works. And then you swoop it down, swoop it down, swoop it down, right? That's what we're looking for here, okay? <clears throat> the next thing I'm gonna do, right, once I have the athlete start to do that, like Gary, he obviously can do butterfly kicks. What I first start doing is I have to start doing that. As soon as they get comfortable, the next step is gonna look like this. Go ahead and show that, Gary. All Gary's gonna do, right, is he keep his arm locked out, and he's just gonna work the rotation on the bottom. That's it. That's it, right there, guys. And go ahead and jump off. So for the first couple days, right, the first couple weeks, I might just have him do that until you can get that down. Believe it or not, that gets pretty challenging after a while to be able to continue that rotation. Next step, what I'm gonna do with them, right, I'm gonna say, hey, Gary, I just want you to add a little bit more bounce and pull up just a little bit. Just pull up just a little bit for me. Rotation, rotation. There you go. Pull up a little bit, pull up a little bit, pull up a little bit, pull up a little bit. There you go. Just keep it like that. There you go. There you go. There you go and jump off. See, next step is, right, he doesn't get his chin all the way up, and that's fine, but he still has the ability to do that rotation. Tip is where people are going to get all fucked up, right? So what they need to do is he need to slow it down, go back to the starting position, right? If you can't get it here, if you, then, you, then you're definitely not going to be able to get it all the way up. I can't tell you how many times people are all messed up down here, and they start pulling up to the bar. Why? If you can't have the rotation down here, you're not going to be able to get it up there. Next step, right, all I'm going to do is, Gary, go ahead and just finish this off. Go ahead and start us off the top. He starts low, finishes high. Notice, watch this. Start low. There you go. Starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and then all the way up. There you go. All the way up there. There you go. Big swing. See his legs? Look at his legs. Look at the momentum he's driving out of his legs right now. He's swooping the shit out of his legs to drive his body up and over that bar. Okay? So unlike the gymnastics kit, we're really trying to generate momentum from those legs and popping our hip. With this, I think even more of a swoop. You're swooping your legs when your head's never actually physically going over. You're just continuing that motion. It's very, very fast. You don't have to push back off the bar and continue this motion, which is a little bit slower. More powerful, I would say, but slower. Okay? If there's any questions, just email me.